Hi guys, it's Mike here today I'm back with a clean and simple minimalist eclipse card and here it is. I use an older die from Marianne Design but you can use any word die you have or even um, loose letters if you prefer. Like this one, hugs. Um, but I'm using hura, which is hooray, <laughs> it's kind of the same. And I die cut it four times from white card, the same card as my card base. And um, I'm fumbling a little bit, more. I, there's something not right. So I decided to make a mat out of it and I cut it all <laughs> crooked. So I thought I'll start again with a new piece. You don't have to match it, you can of course leave it the same size as your card front. But I thought that gives a little bit more interest. And also you can use any die, any word. Any shape, you even um, you could hide a little heart in there instead of a word or another shape. So I'm using my grid to line up about a third of my card. I follow. I better stick it down; it doesn't move anymore, and then tape off my border that I want to ink blend. And I'm using Versa Magic Ocean Depth at Turquoise, Turquoise Gem. And then while I was doing it, I thought I'd go for a bit of an ombre effect and I added Aquatic Splash in the end as well. And for this, you can also use Distress Inks or Memento or any other inks that you like to blend with. Um, I thought I'll show you Versa Magic again. This uh, sponge felt a bit hard, like it's crusty. I think it might be the ink that has. Uh, right on there and I thought see now there would be really a lot of aquatic splash so I um, added another color um, sorry it was turquoise gem that was a bit big if I did that all and this is aquatic gem it's a bit more green in tint but I kind of like the uh, ombre feel it gives and I also like how easy they are to blend and of course this just oxides are um, also easy to blend with. This is just normal card, um, but if you have trouble, try Bristol Smooth or watercolor paper. So to get it straight on the card, I'm using my T-square ruler, but it's so <laughs> in the bottom that it's still wobble. So I'm using the edge of um, the card in the end because I couldn't find my second triangle. So I couldn't do that trick either. So I'm back to the T-square ruler. Then you think, yeah, it needs to be a little bit more into the scholar. So I use actually the numbers to get it straight. And um, you can put it on a slant, of course, as well. <laughs> I went for the really minimalist, masculine kind of feel. I almost went for purple, but <laughs> I uh, like this blue very much. So keep all the bits that you poke out from the letter die and I'm putting to the side, not to confuse them with the other ones that are on the top. And this die is very old and see all the paint has chipped off, so it kind of sticks now a bit. That's okay. And to put it back in, I just put some packing tape on the back. And it's wide enough to cover this whole area. Don't push it down too hard yet because it will stick to the <laughs> grid paper there. But um, yeah, and the place in uh, one of my four white ones. And then I can put in the colored bits back as well. And I'm using my um, nail art wax pencil. Any tool that you have to pick it up, even your tweezers, it will work. And you could put stick it on the back if you'd like to layer them, but I think the liquid glue gives you just a little bit of wiggle time. Just make sure you don't add too much because it will seep out. And yeah, well, it does in my card, but you can still kind of, um, you know, remove it with your finger or tweezers or 
little pencil if you have. And as this sack, you can make it as high or as low as you want. You could do just the one. I used four so that um, you get a little bit of a chipboard feel. But that's also again um, up to you because it might not go through the mill as easy if it's bulky and it might be heavier. So in the Netherlands, you paper grams. <laughs> so you have to stick within a certain weight limit for one stamp or two stamps and um, yeah so we try always to, to get it into the 20 grams area so that's basically in you have to let it dry and while do that I'll <laughs> yeah these are on top of my tin with the enamel dots and as soon as I shake it Cats get activated, but he didn't eat any of it. He just came to look what was going on. He knows the sound. <laughs> I probably should find a different spot to put it. But yeah, here I'm just looking through my enamel dots collection. They are just generic brands from, um, well, kind of the dollar store, I would say. The, I mean, from the Netherlands uh, discount stores, I guess. And I'm just placing three in matching colors around the card and you can put them on top if you want to but I like to keep the top really empty and minimalist and modern simple and well, you can mount it with foam tape I thought it has enough dimension as is so I'm just using tape runner to mount it on the card make sure <laughs> it's the right way up and that's the card finished if you want you can also splatter the ink blended area with water or white paint or silver anything that you like as I do in other cards as well. But this is clean and simple in my opinion. So <laughs> thank you for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye.